so many different people have been um, uh, attacking the, uh, the system of government so far, uh, going to the extent of uh, saying that they are uh, they are displeased that uh, the uh, that the federal government, the government of uh, the uh, Buhari, is not uh, has disappointed Nigerians. Is not doing well. All of these things seem to be coming uh, not just from uh, from Southerners, not from Niger Delta people, not from Southwest or, or Southeast alone or Middle Belt. That is, is it is actually coming from uh, from his own people from. Uh, from his own ethnic nationality. Hey, let me let me say one thing here. Uh, personally, none of these things impress me um, at all. The reason why they don't impress me at all is because uh, with with time and with uh, with experience, I have come to know, and it is verifiable, that when uh, when these type of statements come out. Uh, from uh, uh, from the north and from very uh, uh, notable voices and if you like credible voices because these are the people uh, that are their leaders both their religious leaders and their economic leaders and and uh, and uh, and whatnot and their political leaders and their uh, and their representatives when this type of uh, statements come from them. I say that I am not impressed for the simple fact um, that first of all they seem to be coming uh, uh, they seem to be coming uh, uh, clean uh, but the uh, the uh, the political powers that they have used and the oppressive force that they have used constantly um, against uh, other nationalities in Nigeria are still in place this uh, the constitution of the 1999 uh, constitution is still there and still working uh, in their uh, in their favor. The uh, uh, the states are still 1719 and the local governments are still uh, 355 and uh, 419 or something uh, there uh, there about. Now, when you have these things in place and once in a while uh, you uh, you hear the leaders uh, come up and say what they are saying now. It is a way to distract us. And if you look at it, it is a way to distract us from talking about what has led to them making public these uh, this, uh, this, uh, this positions. For instance, the, uh, the issue that, um, uh, the issue that, uh, uh, that people are saying that the Sultan, uh, the Emir rather, said um, uh, the, what do you call, um, uh, the, okay, the, uh, the quota system that he is criticizing. Oh, well, fine. It's good for him to criticize uh, the, uh, the quota system now. But it is still working. You know, it is still working. So it really doesn't make any sense. For instance, uh, yesterday, I, I briefly stumbled across uh, uh, the fact that uh, for how many years we know that gas has been fled and it has polluted uh, the Niger Delta. It has caused all kinds of deaths and diseases. And we've been campaigning, uh, Ken Serwiwa, Oronto Douglas, Era, Morris, and Kioni Mobasi, um, 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 mass up everybody has been campaigning against gas flaring and even the wastage of gas flaring the cost to uh, uh, to the uh, to the so-called owners of the resources which the 1999 constitution have taken away from you and I who are really the owners and vested it into the federal government that is really not not the owner and where the people who don't suffer the devastation of this flaring and the and the uh, devastation and pollution of oil and gas are suffering and once they have decided that it is in their interest to stop flaring gas and that the uh, the the process of collecting gas for the purpose of uh, generating power 
and for the pro uh, for the process of turning it into and even exporting it of turning it into cooking gas and all of that is being bidded for and the gas flaring sites they are bidding for is here it's in river state it's in delta states it's in a bias state it's in aquai bomb states because the federal government lays claim to it because the nnpc um, is the one and the ministry of petroleum are the ones that are authorized to uh, to uh, to give this allocation and even the uh, the so-called license for um for uh, mini refineries um they are bidding for them in abuja and who is bidding for them if you look for the companies that are bidding for them they will be uh, they will be international companies that have the the needed requirements and the funding but the people they are nigerian partners because they must have nigerian partners the nigerian partners you will find are not niger delta people and if you find a niger delta person involved in the bidding you will see that that niger delta person is just a front for the company because he's from niger delta and being a front the percentage that they will get even if they are in oil and gas upstream downstream whatever you will find that their percentage is nothing compared to uh, to uh, to what um uh, to what uh, the uh, the real people who are bidding are going are going to get and then they've now caught this issue of corporate social responsibility right before our very eyes now people who are involved in oil and gas are taking corporate social responsibility even people building railway lines with money they are borrowing uh, uh, in the name of niger delta oil the corporate social responsibility uh, value is going to the north it's not coming to the niger delta let the i don't understand how corporate social responsibility of building railway lines is going to katsina whereas the money that they are borrowing to build the railway lines is coming from the oil and gas in the in the, in the niger delta so when the these sort of statements that are being made by uh, by these uh, leaders or the great leaders of uh, of northerners uh, the uh, the sultan the leader and uh, the sultan of sokoto who is the uh, the leader of uh, of muslims and the emir of um, uh, of kanu um are making these statements these are statements of fact they are pointing out the things that people are beginning to see and object to so it's not news it's not that they are just uh, that they are just uh, finding finding these things out they are not and this brings um uh, this to me uh, brings to uh, uh, to my recall a verse in the in the bible which truly um, we have to uh, we uh, we have to recall which is uh, exodus 14 13 where um, moses answered the people and said do not be afraid stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the lord will bring you today the egyptians you see today you will never see them again um, the Lord will, they will fight for you, be still. All you need to be is still. Now, these are encouragements that we must encourage ourselves. We must be wise. We must be wise because the people that are doing this seem to be applying wisdom more than we are. Um, when uh, it is really laziness, and even lack of wisdom if niger delta people are beginning to think that by the leaders of the north now uh, saying these things that it is somehow uh, a sign of weakness on their part it is not i actually do not agree with uh, the uh, the thinking and the position of some people who are saying that uh, Boko Haram and the killer headsmen 
whether they are foreign or Nigerian, that these things are Nigeria's problem. It, it is a problem, it is a problem that is targeted at Christians and the Niger Delta region and our resources and our access to the Atlantic Ocean. Now, if we feel that what is happening in the Northeast is not going to cross the River Niger, that is foolishness because it has crossed the River Niger. Last week, the governor, who is now the uh, the, uh, the 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 South South uh, Chairman uh, Governors Forum, uh, the governor of Delta State, has said categorically has named the areas, the communities that uh, he said men in military uniform headed the the headsmen to go and kill people in their communities. These are Niger Delta people. To go and kill people in their communities. So, if anybody is sitting here in Port Harcourt, in Abonima, in Ndele, in Emoha, in Enele, in anywhere in, Port Harcourt, in River State, and thinking that they are safe, that would have to be the most foolish thinking of the century, of this new decade that we are in. The problem that the that have made the Yoruba people to set up Amateko after so many years of complaining, the problem that have made the middle belt to differentiate themselves, their position, the suffering the, 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 the lack of food that we're going to face very soon. These things, if we in the Niger Delta believe for one second that we are shielded from it, the way we are so carelessly, carelessly ignoring a lot of things, there is no community today in River State that does not have strangers in their community. If you are not from my community, you are a stranger in my community. You are a stranger. So there is no community that does not have strangers. Now what you ask yourself, and you must answer, and I use Abonima, my community, as an example. If a stranger comes to your community, and you don't know why he is there. You're foolish. You're foolish. You must know why that stranger is there. We have to be very, very careful. It is, it is Nigeria that we all belong to, yes. But belonging to Nigeria, there is no way in the constitution it says because you're a Nigerian, you can move into somebody else's community and take control of that community and take over that community. There is nowhere he says so in the law. So we really have to be very, very careful and be upright in the way we stand up for these things. I don't think for the past one year or two that there has ever been a time I speak where I don't continuously, since 2.15 actually, I don't continuously make it clear that the people must work with the politicians, the governors, because they are the one governing the states. The resources that they are using to govern the states is ours, is being paid to them. The people who are representing us in the National Assembly, we put them there. If for any reason they are unable to speak on our behalf, when we are threatened, or our way of life is threatened, or our right to, uh, to, uh, to worship as Christians is threatened, if they don't speak up, it is about time they pack their bags and come back home because they, they then 
are not of any value to us whatsoever. And the state assembly members, if they are not going to sit up and begin to pass laws that will be in the interest of their state,